Hello, my name is Michael Pelletera, technology trainer at the virtual campus at IRSC. This video will review the process to enable the Honorlock system to electronically proctor a student while he or she is taking a test in Blackboard. Both students and the instructor must begin by logging in to Blackboard, either through Okta and the Pioneer portal, or by signing into Blackboard at http colon forward slash forward slash irsc.blackboard.com. Blackboard.com is the key, not edu. The Honor Lock system has two components. One part is the actual service of the proctoring of the exam and the other part is the Blackboard application for you, the instructor, to be able to watch a video along with any possible flags that the system might have noted during the testing process for the student. Step one, click over to a content page. Click on build content. Now, click on the honor lock LTI button from the drop-down menu. Name the button, Honor Lock Remote Testing. Select Yes to make the Honor Lock test available and visible to students, and click Submit. The course now recognizes the Honor Lock server. Assuming you have already created an exam, Click the chevron to edit the test options. Select yes next to open test in a new window. Click to enable should now be present for honor lock. Most of these settings have been locked in as our standard rule set and aren't able to be changed. The ones that can be changed are the option to allow calculators or if you want your students to visit an external link during the exam, you can set up the whitelist testing. Next, you will enter the instructions for both the students and for the proctoring guidelines to adhere to. In the proctoring guidelines box, you can list specific student accommodations as needed. Click Save, and the test is now enabled. Very important, Honorlock sets its own automated password, authenticated when students enter via the Pioneer portal, and the faculty are no longer required to input the password. Passwords are never provided to students. Next, provide alternative setup conditions for students who need extra time, early or late submissions, or additional attempts. The show test results and feedback settings are the controls for allowing students to see details about questions like which ones they got right or wrong after they have completed the exam. Please use caution. All but one of these settings will give your students open access to the exam questions long after testing. This will allow them to share the test questions with others and we don't want that. One time view offers the student exactly one chance to review their answers while Honor Lock is still active. After they close the review and exit the Honor Lock, they will not have any further access to your test content, keeping everything secure. Be mindful that this due date option will override your other settings and can make the test inaccessible for students. Even if you change the display dates somewhere else. When forgotten about, this setting often leads to issues when giving extensions. So be mindful of the due date. Be sure to hit submit. Instructors must also complete the testing form and submit it to Stephen Daniello, Director of the Assessment Center at IRSC. Provide all the details on the form that are asked for, including a roster of all students. A quick way to get these names is to go to the Full Grade Center in Blackboard. Mouse over the Work Offline in the far right corner. Select Download. Choose the User Information Only selection and click Submit. An Excel file will be downloaded 
with only student names and student IDs. These can then be copied and pasted all at once into the required form for the testing center. Thanks for the entire assessment center staff at IRSC for putting together this great document showing us how to load OnorLock into Blackboard.